Hey, welcome back to Woodworking with Wes. Today's project is building some corner posts for an island for a kitchen. We have been given a drawing by our client that shows us the measurements that we have to do. Let's go over it real quick here and show you what I have to do. The center of this column will be a four and a half by four and a half uh, veneered plywood post. The top and bottom will be an applied three quarter inch thick solid lumber. There'll be a little decorative scoop molding that will go on top of that solid piece with a little teeny bead mold on top of that. This is the plywood we're using right here. We're just using veneer plywood. We're going to cut our pieces four and a half inches wide with a 45 degree angle on both sides and glue them together with just glue and tape. Let's go ahead and get that far. We have got our four sides to our column cut out with a bevel on each side, a 45 degree on each side. We're just going to glue these together by taping them together. And I'll just go through and we'll show you how. And we'll glue this column together. This is a very simple little trick to glue 45 degree corners together. I'm going to put my glasses on there so I can see. Our pieces that we cut for our column, our column is going to be 34 and a half inches tall. I cut my pieces an extra one inch long so that after I glue them all together and they're dry, I can go over to my miter saw, my chop saw, and cut the ends square because as I glue like this, it's very hard to make sure that they're all even. I'm going to keep them as even as possible, but it's uh, always a little hard to keep them exact. And that way, when I get all done by having it a little long, I can go right ahead and just cut it off nice and square on the chop saw. You can see as I'm, getting, as I'm gluing this together, what I'm doing is putting some little pieces on here to pull the joint tight so that the sharp little edge fits very good and tight. And that holds it in place. And then when I've got that held in place where I want it, then I put a long piece like this across it. And that holds the whole joint together as I glue it up. And it also keeps the glue from getting all over the place. Okay, I have the three pieces here. We'll just pick this up. Turn it over. I'm going to get me three little pieces ready to go here when I get it done. And now we'll just take our glue. We're just using regular tight bond glue. We're just going to put a little bead of glue down each valley. We don't have to worry about having too much because the inside of the column the squeeze out will come out to the inside of the column and the inside of the column is, doesn't show so if there's squeeze out in there we don't worry about it. And we want to make sure we have plenty of glue because that's all that's holding the column together. And as you tip it up you can see how the glue squeezes out. See how the glue squeezes out in that joint? That shows we have plenty of glue. We'll do the same thing on that side. And then we'll tip it up like this. We'll run one more bead of glue down the face of this 45 degree cut. And then we'll pull our column together. And our little pieces of tape that we had set aside there, we'll now pull our corners together. And it's amazing how strong this tape is. It acts just like a clamp. And so we are now clamping our column together with just tape. And then again, we'll run a piece 
the full length. There is our four and a half by four and a half inch column all glued together. We have seven of these to make for our island and for a bath vanity. We'll go ahead and get the rest of them glued together and then we'll come back and start on the second part. We've given our post an hour to dry with the tape on it. We've taken our tape off and sanded it completely down to 150, which will be our final sand. We're now getting ready to put on the base pieces. Let me show you what I'm going to do here. We're going to stand our post up. Now these base pieces, they are solid, three quarter inch thick. I've cut them the same way that I cut the, the post itself. I put a 45 on each edge and I cut them to length, six inches length on length on my, miter, on my uh, box sled. And we're going to just wrap our post like this with our pieces that we've cut and clamp them on. So we'll glue those and clamp them. And let's just watch how I do that, get that part done. These clamps that I'm putting on here are just six inch little clamps that we're putting on here. And we're putting them on and just tightening them a little bit as we walk around. I put them on loose, all four of them first, and then I'm just walking around tightening them. And as I do that, it pulls the corners square and tight around the post and gives our little base the perfect tightness of clamping. And because we're flat on our table, it's right where it's supposed to be as far as on the base of the column. We'll let that dry and then we'll go to the next step. The next part that we're doing on our column is this small piece of molding right here that goes underneath and on top of the base and top piece of build out that we do on our uh, original post there. Um, this piece is done by setting a saw up with a fence at an angle and running a board across and it begins to take a scoop or a cove out of our board. You can see if you look at the edge here, we've just taken one cut. And what we do is we set this up and run it across and then we turn our saw blade up a little bit at a time until we have created a trench, a cove, that is a half inch deep in our three quarter inch piece of material. And we'll do that now and we'll just, I'll just go through and I'll do it and we'll have you just watch and we'll cut this cove and then when we get it all done cut then I'll show you how we make it into our little half scoop molding. We'll call it a half scoop molding. That's a good word for it. You can see how that begins to cut that cove as we take it across and like I say we'll do this go pass uh, make passes across setting the blade a little bit higher each time until we've cut the full depth that we want to do. Well, we're making progress. A couple of more passes. You can see how deep we've cut already and how we're making a nice cove cut in there. This is what's going to turn into our molding. A couple more passes, we'll be done. Well, there's our cove pieces. In order to make them get ready to go on the, on the posts, we'll cut this in half and we'll actually cut our little molding in half after we sand this. We'll cut this in half and this will be our little scoop piece that goes on top of our base and our underneath our top piece and that will create the little detail molding that we're making and we made enough to go on all of our uh, columns and so cut, sand, put them on.
I just wanted to comment as I was running these pieces through the saw, because of the configuration, they're very hard to hold on to. A, a push stick would have been hard to make this safe. And so I had to use my fingers to run it through. But I set my blade way down low so that it was as safe as I could possibly be. And I kept my fingers out of the way as much as I possibly could. Always, always, always think about safety when you're using your table saw. That's why these are all still the right length. I always think safety. While we were making our little half cove molding, our base pieces are uh, finished drying within the clamps. I've now had, I sanded this before I put these on. Now I've sanded this. So our column is now completely sanded, ready for our next piece, which is the molding. We're going to take our half cove moldings and we're gonna take them over to the chop saw and we're gonna miter them and we're gonna put them on just like that right there. And that creates that little scoop effect at the top of our little base and at the underneath side. So this will be the same up here as it is down here. And applying this piece will be our next step. So I'll go ahead and do that and we'll come back when I'm finished with that and show you how that looks. Okay, so far our post is coming along very good. We have one more piece of molding to put on. According to our print, we have a small quarter inch bead molding that sets on top of this half scoop profile that we just got through putting on. We've got this mostly sanded. We're gonna go ahead, we've put a bead bit in, our quarter inch bead bit in our handheld router. We're gonna make this bead molding and we're gonna install that around the top of this and then our post will be done. This is the bead molding that I was just showing that we were making. Let's show you how it's going to actually go on our column. Let's turn this around here. This piece fits here like this. This will go on like this. And that creates a little bead collar around the top of our scoop. And that's the way that's going to go. We're going to go ahead and cut and install those. Then let's come back and see how it looks when we're done. Follow the instructions given to us by our client. There's our drawing. There's our post and it looks just like it. We did a pretty good job coming across with exactly what they were after. It's turned out very nice. We're pleased and I'm sure they will be too. I hope you like the things that we do on our channel and I hope you subscribe and follow us for more. We've got lots of good projects lined up and good things that we'd like to show you. And so we're going to see you then on Woodworking with Wes.